desires. A thought just for you. Yes, you. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is their life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. James 4, verse 14. Now, the older I get, is the more I realize the fragility of humanity. It is paramount that we view life through an eternal lens as opposed to a temporal one. Each day is a blessing and an opportunity to witness for Christ. Each breath is a gift from God that is handcrafted with purpose. The question is, what are we going to do with the gracious gift that's been bestowed upon us? What difference will we make in a secular society to help the growth of heaven's eternal population? Now, that's a serious question. With good information comes the necessity of its application. Imagine receiving instructions that lead to eternal death. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yet more often than not, we become voluntary prey for the predator due to our spiritual negligence. We should constantly evaluate our lives in the mirror of the Holy Scriptures. When the enemy misapplied scripture to attempt to cause Christ to stumble, Jesus responded with, it is written. And that should be the position that we take. But in order to do so, we must internalize what is written. The human race and its self-inflicted frailty can be announced by Jesus Christ's perfect strength. In moments of weakness, we should claim Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Christian walk requires an immense amount of fortitude, but the beautiful thing is we are not walking alone. We serve a risen Savior who has overcome the world and its many entrapments. We have been granted a gift, a gift we don't deserve because we serve a God who has redeemed us by the blood of the Lamb. It is hard to fathom a love that is so rich and so pure, yet we have the opportunity to bask in it. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called the children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Lord, we thank you for being the God you are. We thank you for recognizing that each day you handle us with care. Help us to be ready with your word in our hearts so whenever we are tempted, we can say, it is written. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, my friends, time is short and our eternal destination hangs in the balance. Nevertheless, God is longing to spend eternity with us. The question is, do our actions reflect our desire to spend eternity with him? This is Carla Mugavi Blair reminding you that devotional desires are thoughts just for you. Yes, you. He had acted by God's will. Could you have said such a sad prayer?